interrupting today's video to show you guys the new FYD release that is now available right now on the FYDapparel.com website. These t-shirts are now available on the website, B-Road Drivers, really, really cool t-shirts with the FYD diamond on the front. These and these over here, the new key tags available in camo and in black with the larger key clip and 3D rubber diamond are now available on the website. Link is in the description. But remember, link is in the description to the FYDapparel.com website. Let's get back to the video. So, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, as you can see from the title, we are in an A35 AMG. Now, I'm going to say this from the start. This is a proper AMG product. I've driven it here, it is phenomenal. First things first though, it's got no aero kit and it's got comfy chairs in it. This is the most specced Jamie FYD vehicle in the world because not only has it got the pace, it's got the screens and the loveliness inside and the materials, but it isn't outlandish. It isn't crazy looking. It hasn't got the spoilers and various other things all over it. It's got accents from the AMG products. Don't get me wrong, there is a diffuser. There's little bits and bobs. Just not that the idea that this is a proper AMG product, as well as the performance and the handling is insane. Start it up, because in my opinion, this is the sort of car that you would buy if you want a hot hatch, but you're growing up a little bit. You know, you don't want the Larry spoilers and the silly paint. This goes under the radar, this thing. It is a proper bit of kit. But also, firstly, a massive thank you to Esplanade on the Isle of Wight. This car is actually for sale with those guys right now. So there is a link in the description and a pinned comment to the Auto Trader ad if you would like to own this car. I definitely would. I think this is a phenomenal thing. And it goes, again, under the radar. It's not a sleeper, don't get me wrong, but it is definitely something you wouldn't necessarily glance at twice, but you could definitely go under the radar and have some serious fun in this thing. Now, first thing we're going to do, actually, is put this thing in dynamic mode. So we'll tip through into Sport Plus. And as you heard there, straight away, we have a bit more exhaust noise. Now, I've actually noticed, if we come round this corner, we'll let off. There's the pops and bangs. It has pops and bangs from the factory, from a sports exhaust that actually come on all of these A35s of this generation. First thing, 306 horsepower, it definitely gets going. It is 400 newton meters of torque. And I do feel that is adequate power. Yes, this is uh, in theory underneath the A45, so the A45 will dance a little bit more than this one does. But this ain't no slouch. It is very, very fast for a little A-Class. Now, I'm pitching this thing, as you know, many other people did, against the Golf R because it is similarly priced, similar power outputs. And I think, if I'm honest, the A45, you know, more expensive, more power, bucket seats, all this various other stuff. Price point as well being a lot more than this car. This is better priced and better performance orientated around the, you know, say S3 or Golf R market. In my opinion, the quality of the interior, the niceness, the drivability is very, very similar to the Golf, except for the interior is actually so much nicer. It is a lovely place to be in here. I do feel like the drivability of this car is very high. You can get places very quickly in this thing. Again, under the radar, no one notices this car, which is, you know, in all fairness, is actually quite a nice thing. I can potter around enjoying myself in this car and it's not bright yellow. It's not got loads of spoilers over it. It hasn't got a massive crack and bang exhaust system on it. So I can thoroughly enjoy 99.999% of this car pretty much every single time I get in this thing, sports plus mode and, you know, sort of off you go. You can really, really enjoy this thing at your own pace, which is fantastic. Steering is, you know, there's a little bit of weight to it, but it's very directional. I can throw this thing around very, very easily. The front tucks in really nicely. You've got that, you know, formatic four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive uh, system in these. So you can feel it working in your advantage, which is, again, a small car like this is a fantastic platform. It really is. The power is so right. I think, you know, for the B-Rose, British B-Rose where we are today, it is enough power. 
and the exhaust, the exhaust is just enough. It's not crazy loud. You can turn it off it pop and bang, you know, very nicely. In fact, right now that we can go past these horses and they don't care. They don't care that it's bright yellow with spoilers and bangs everywhere. It's just cruising past, you know? And I feel like this is what this car is, right? It is under the radar. It's fantastically built it's so nice to drive you can throw it around you can put it in comfort mode but yeah drivability wise you put it in all the amg modes you can have your boost gauge in front of you you can flip through the gears you can have it in automatic or manual mode and it is just so fast so poised with how you're able to tip this car around especially through the british brie roads are the thing i really try and do on this channel a lot is appreciate cars that are built with our b roads in mind because there is so many of them and if you know your b roads well you'll know that you can get away with so much stuff in a car like this you can thoroughly enjoy yourself and you can go at an absolute rate of knots at this thing it is, it is genuinely fantastic to drive you can throw it around you can boost it as much as you want it is just yeah, fantastic. Such a fantastic car. Another thing to point out that this car has that some of the others doesn't that I've been looking at is it's got the Premium Plus pack, which again is a must in every uh, Mercedes product. It gives you the Burmester sound system, which again, I'm gonna say you should get in your AMG product. It has the pan roof and it has the electric memory seats. These are all available through the Premium Plus pack, which is something, again, I'm gonna say you have to get in your AMG product. Inside is a really Really nice place to be. Bigger screens in the A35. Really nice dash layout, actually. I'm a big fan of the new Mercedes stuff, so steering wheel's really nice. It's got these touch-sensitive thumb buttons just in front of me with all of the stuff that I would need on a steering wheel. Flat bottom as well, which is a shout in the A35. One thing to point out is the trackpad in the center actually vibrates, so it's got some contact back to you when you're actually going through uh, different driver modes and various other things like your infotainment and all that sort of stuff. It actually vibrates back to you, sort of like a phone screen, which is such a cool feature especially this being you know say your entry-level AMG model it's nice to know that they're still actually bringing that sort of quality into one of these AMG models it's a really nice place to be I must admit I'm gonna say it again such a nice place to be the new uh, Mercedes products especially the AMG stuff the next thing I'm gonna talk about and people aren't gonna like this I love the seats in the a35 they're not the bucket seats maybe I'm an old man now and let me know in the comments if you think that I am super old for saying this but these are better than the bucket Buckets. they don't look as good at the buckets don't get me wrong but they're nice and chunky and they're a lot more comfortable something to think about for an older gentleman like me and you you know maybe want to do more touring around than uh, you used to do in your early years and you want a nicer comfier seat this might be the car to go for if I'm honest because these seats are so comfortable in comparison especially to the a45 seats you know the bucket seats they're just not as comfortable these are bang on and interior quality is more than anything the actual feel of everything the leather on the steering wheel leather on the uh, door cards brushed metal all round it just is such a nice place to be in this car so guys thank you so much for watching if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up thank you again to Esplanade again there is a link to this car for sale through Esplanade in a pinned comment and in the description below again give this video a like Esplanade actually pulled this out of the showroom today for me and filled it up ready for me to drive so I appreciate that guys big time again guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you on the next one